Hello everyone, this is Defense Politics Asia and uh, this is the Frontline Changes Report. And uh, there's two main changes uh, over the past 24 hours. The first one is over at Opitne. Uh, so Opitne, at, uh, in case you don't know, is at the ADFK front. This is this is the ADFK city and this is the ADFK front. And uh, so the it, it's not supposed to look like that. Uh, anyway, um, so, um, so over at this uh, so-called uh, the the former air defense base at uh, the, at Donetsk city or the Donetsk air base. The previously we have a Joe location of you uh, Russians over here uh, capturing some POWs over at this building here. So, however, uh, and that actually is the basis of the claims of the Russians capturing this entire area here. However, in the latest report coming from Raiba, the pro-Russian source, they reported that the uh, you could, the Russians do not have control right now of this area here, which is kind of a surprise. Also very interesting because it actually corroborates what Deep State UA insisted. However, that could also be a possibility that the Russians, after capturing this area here, redrew. And uh, after the redraw, the Ukrainians uh, retook this position because the Russians are not there, which is commonly the case. And I'm not sure what is the exact situation, or it could be a case where that is a wrong Joe location that the Russians were never here, uh, and the Ukrainians have always have control over this very fortified position. So anyway, um, because of Ryber's um, mapping, uh, the Russians basically has this claim this region here so the the front line basically looks like this there's a very there's a tiny salient over here where the ukrainians hold this position um over over at this very front line north of Spartak. uh Spartak is over here this is sparta and uh so otherwise there's also a geolocation by a military summary uh, of a russian uh, ts 1a thermobaric missile uh, attack uh, in, in the northern uh, neighborhood here, which is also named as the air defense district, uh, at the former went down the air defense base in the ADFK area. However, this air defense area is actually uh, some some houses or neighborhood uh, over here. If you look at this, this is some dacha region, and uh, or the the holiday house or, or summer house region. So, which is it could be the base of uh, the Ukrainian forces that is currently, you know, living here uh, in a pre-war or pre-civil war uh, no situation. It's unclear what is the real situation right now. So because this is based purely on the mapping, anyway, we will just reflect the change according to Raiba because Raiba disclaim it, then clearly the Ukrainians should have it. And uh, so this is the first frontline change. The second frontline change is over at Klishevka. So uh, Klishevka is over at the Bakhmut front. This is the Bakhmut city. And uh, so at the Bakhmut front, uh, the Ukrainian forces has been geolocated on this uh, eastern part of the of this lake. And uh, this geolocation uh, uh, are Ukrainian forces getting hit within the forest uh, over here. Uh, the Ukrainians are hit within here. But the presence of the Ukrainian forces over on this eastern part of the lake means that the Ukrainian forces have control at least partially of this uh, forest over here or plantation because of the forest the, the trees look a bit too tidy so it's probably plantation and uh, probably this plantation is of, of course flattened already so the Ukrainian forces basically made some progress in this area here they were previously not clearly known to be have to be there uh, it's always been pretty much of a gray zone in the, in that area here so these are the two frontline changes report for the past uh Two frontline changes for the past 24 hours. Do press the like button, subscribe, and of course, I I I, I also put a a poll on the community tab of the DPA War channel. Do check it out. Help me answer. I need your help to try to find out what exactly makes you tick. What makes you click on DPA's video, and uh, hopefully that will help help me to you know uh, modify and iterate. Uh, our uh, the DPS production uh, on YouTube in order to you know improve the viewership. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next update. Enjoy your Sunday and Saturday, depending on time zone. Sunday, bye.